2019, 2020, when Trump was president, he trailed all of them. This year, he's trailed all of them in our poll. First time in more than a dozen polls, we've seen a result like this. And actually now we are seeing some statistical evidence of the trouble that they are in. Uh, because yes, Trump is beaten Biden in a bunch of polls. I always say you have to take polls with a grain of salt, uh, but look what's being reported even in mainstream media now. Here it is. Wow. Donald Trump, we have at 46 percent. Biden, 44. And this is significant because this is the first time in the history of our poll that former President Trump beats President Biden still within the margin of error, but still significant. Yeah, it's 2019, 2020, when Trump was president, he trailed all of them. This year, he's trailed all of them in our poll. First time in more than a dozen polls, we've seen a result like this. Some of the other ingredients that go into that, Biden has long had an advantage over Trump on likability. Look, at the start of this year, 39% said they had a positive view of Biden, barely 30 of Trump. We've seen consistently a gap like this. Now, the gap is gone. Mm. 36 positive on both, and actually Biden, one point more negative than Trump. That's been a significant advantage for Biden. Our poll says that advantage, at least for now, may be gone. And we talked about younger voters on foreign policy, and it's true on a host of other topics. Disaffected with Joe Biden, we have 46% for Trump, 42% for Biden among the youngest voters. The youngest voters in the 2020 election were Biden plus 26. This could be a massive sea change. And if you take a look here, too, all, everybody sort of says, hey, I'm not too nuts yeah. about the possibility of this matchup. So we said, let's measure this one way. And here's how we did it. Biden against an unnamed Republican. This is just a referendum on Biden, basically. And look at this. He goes Ooh. from being in a, a dogfight with Trump to being double digits wow. behind. But then flip it around. Trump against an unnamed Democrat. Trump goes from leading against Biden to being down by six points against the Democrat. Just a fascinating look at the state of the race with just a little under a year to go. Steve Kornacki, great stuff. Thank you Thanks. so much for being here. I like how they get that little dorky guy with his mustard pants that like, does he have any other outfit that guy? And he gets up there and oh my God, the numbers. Now look, first of all, if you're Donald Trump and you're seeing those numbers, I know you're elated, but on the other hand, if you also believe that they stole the election from you last time, like two points, I don't know if it means that much, but the greater point here is that's on Meet the Press, that wasn't MSNBC, that's NBC's Sunday Meet the Press. The fact that they are now showing those polls means they cannot deny the fact that Biden's a struggling and it's starting to kind of feel cool again to support Donald Trump, right? Like that's clearly what's happening here. And it might also be a signal that the corporate press is now trying, as they've been trying to do for a couple months, I would say, uh, trying to figure out a way to give Biden the boot because obviously no one thinks he's up to the job.